this will probably make for a very awkward container to store in the fridge so i'm not sure about that but we'll see Hey fam, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today is grocery haul day, so welcome back. If you're new, welcome to my grocery haul. If you are an avid viewer, welcome back. Today's stuff, we ha today we have an array of stuff. The majority of the things are from Costco, and then we do have some local grocery store items. Um, we do have a couple items from Walmart, as well as a few items from our local grocery store. If you guys are, haven't been watching the vlogs, I did state that this week has been a a bit of a mess in a sense because typically we do our grocery hauls every Saturday sometimes Sunday if we miss it because life happens but this week for because hubby was home we kind of put it off it was also a long weekend here in, in Ontario it was Victoria weekend so we kind of put off grocery shopping from um, Saturday all the way until Monday or Tuesday in the middle of the week however that still didn't happen because we actually had a bunch of food here and because hubby's on like a little vacation what or whatnot we kind of had a couple days in there where we ate out so so we actually kind of had enough food to carry us over. Today's Thursday. By the time you guys are seeing this, it might be Saturday. But we kind of almost went two whole weeks without grocery shopping. Mind you, we did pick up a couple of items, but nothing like crazy big. So uh, I just wanted to point that out. Like sometimes life happens and, you know, you don't have to pick up groceries every week. But anyways, um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the things that we bought. I want to also point out we're still in lockdown. If you guys have never watched my grocery haul before, a big part of it is like all the extra things we buy too outside of food. We just haven't been able to do that because we are currently still in lockdown in Ontario. It should be lifted in the next few weeks. In fact, we will be able to go shopping as a family and it's not just going to be hubby alone picking up the groceries. So I'm excited for that and I think you guys will be too. Without further ado, let's get into the grocery haul. But don't forget to like, comment, rate and subscribe. Let's go. So starting over here, we grabbed a can, a case of bubbly. Guys, we just went a whole week without this stuff. It was done and we just didn't have any um, on hand. And then we had the holiday and we couldn't pick any up. So, um, yeah, so we kind of went a while without it. And if you guys know, we usually have a ton of these on hand. I will point it out last grocery haul. I don't know if you guys heard it, but we were buying two cases per week and they're $9.99 each. You do the math. It sounds like a lot for some sparkling water. We also grabbed eggs as per usual. We grabbed our apples. I'm not sure this time around our apples. We, these are Honeycrisp apples, which we do love. Um, I do like Gala too, though they can be hit or miss. Sometimes our apples come in a bag. Other times it comes in a box. I'm not certain how many there are in here because you can't really see, but two, four, six. I know there are at least 12 because there's two rows given the size of the box. Sorry I cannot give you prices because I was not shopping. If you're familiar, when hubby goes grocery shopping, he does not look at the prices. So he doesn't generally know. So if you guys are all about prices, um, those hauls will come in the near future when things resume back to normal. So this week we grabbed this yogurt. If you guys remember, we usually get this other brand. This time we got some Greek yogurt. We have tried this Oikos brand before and actually really liked it. it says it's got 3% less fat. And it does consist of, let me see, 8, 8, 16, um, 24 yogurts. So we'll see how that goes. This will probably make for a very awkward container to store in the fridge. So I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. This week I asked Cubby to pick up some whole strawberries. Baby girl has been loving smoothies and I think she prefers strawberries. So I'm going to give her give it a go instead of the mixed berry that I typically buy. So we grabbed a bag of that. Star Baby boy's going to be starting foods and I definitely wanted to get him some peas. I think it would be nice to have this stuff fresh but at the same token don't we usually just start with it frozen just because it's just peas right? Leave a comment down below and let me know if you gave your baby um, frozen peas. And I think, is this organic? Yes, and it's organic, which is cool. That's perfect. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one starting with frozen peas. I don't even know where I can get regular um, unfrozen peas at the current moment. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you use frozen peas for your baby. But speaking of which, since I'm going to be doing um, making baby food, I took the 
plunge and bought myself one of these Nutra bullets. Well, it's not for me, it's for the baby to make baby food. This was purchased from a Walmart, so that's why I included it in the grocery haul. Um, I'm excited about that, so stay tuned. There'll be a video coming. I also picked him up some bibs to go with that. Um, it's a double pack, and they were $7. Guys, Walmart had an amazing deal on this because I remember buying one of these for a significantly higher price than I paid for both. And I do remember, and this was like on Amazon for about $125. Y'all, I got it at Walmart for $79.99. That's a steal. The only problem was um, I did order it for curbside pickup, and when I got there, they t had told me that my order was ready, but it clearly wasn't because when I got there, I had to wait for an extra 40 minutes. And by the time, uh, and at that point, I just basically gave them a call and asked where my order was because... I've been waiting for so long. They told me that someone they told me that they misplaced it. It couldn't be found. So I had to end up waiting a little extra. Anyways, needless to say, I got this for baby boy and I'm really pumped uh to make baby food for for him. I I just thought the blend tech was just too much. I'm like this is perfectly fine and little and small and can, you know, just enough to, just the the size to make baby food. We picked up some more granola bars. This is a staple. I can see this. We also picked up some trash bags because, you know, got to get rid of all that trash. Tropicana. Um, I don't know if this is the one with pulp. Is it? Is this pulpless? Um, I think this is the one without pulp. So this will make a lot of people happy because, like I said, around here, people don't really like pulp. We picked up some more whipped cream. Guys, my kids love whipped cream. They go through this stuff. They do have it on waffles the basically the waffles that we buy in stores or we do make like homemade um belgium waffles which we actually haven't done in a little minute we picked up some more of these pizza pops for our freezer we picked up some butter well actually this is margarine we grabbed some fabric softener um this stuff is so strong i can smell it from a i can smell it from afar i don't think we've ever bought this brand or maybe hubby sneaks it in the in the grocery list but it smells good it says it reduces cling i mean i don't have to read that because you guys know what fabric softener does leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have ever used this particular brand we got some corn flakes the kids opted to go with corn flakes this week because um I don't know, I guess they just want to be mindful of the sugar or they just don't want to have a lot of sugar. I do have some kids who actually just eat a lot, stick with a lot of um, oatmeal, so they don't even eat a lot of cereal, so that's good. Okay, can I do the grocery haul first? I want to. <laughs> As you just heard, the little one was telling us how much she loves chocolate milk. So, so of course we grabbed two of those. We grabbed some more. We grabbed some more ground turkey because I want to always have some of this stuff on hand. This is to go down into the cellar. Avocados. I'm excited to give this to baby boy as well, though I do know that the babies actually get kind of gassy when they eat stuff like this. So I'm nervous about giving him this, though I, I mean, I know what it does to me, but we're not going to get into that. But I'm just like nervous for him. So yeah. So if you watch our grocery haul, you'll, you know, these are the huge for sure. Um, non as well as croissants as well as bagels nothing special there i always like to pick up spinach though i have to say i have to point out i have stopped making smoothies for a little bit i did make it yesterday but it was not like a green smoothie i did just kind of use my um hemp part mixture it is actually all greens but i usually make it with spinach baby spinach haven't done it though. Grab some more um, romaine hearts because we love to use this for our Caesar salads. So we grabbed some berries for the berry lovers. Ha ha, pun, look at that. Berry lovers. Um, we got some blackberries as well as some raspberries. Uh, produce was a hard thing to find. Sometimes they, it was like a hit or miss. We didn't get any. I just realized again that I forgot to put green grapes on the grocery list. Oh, so annoying. But at least we have berries. Uh, I didn't put this on the list, but like it, it's becoming more and more of a thing since it's summer, I guess. It's just easy to throw it on the barbecue, but I can't eat those because of the salt content. Basically used all of the nuts that I had. I ate the last of what I had in here. All my cashews were done. 
all of my unsalted mixed nuts. Both of these are unsalted, by the way. And these generally last uh, quite a while, but it's so funny how they all ran out at the same time and I was basically without. So thank God we did this haul. Hubby stopped by the local grocery store to grab these individual yogurts. Generally, when we buy it from Costco, we buy it in a large case as well and get roughly, I don't know if it's about the same amount because I don't remember exactly how much are in there, but we usually get a case at Costco. But because she is very particular, she's not a fan of like some of the flavors. We went um, to the other grocery stores and just picked up a bunch and these are just vanilla flavored because that is her favorite. She actually asks us for the blue one. And I don't remember if that's just the color of this one. But she, you know, she associates the color with the, the taste. And we, <laughs> whenever we go to Costco, we can't just get it. That Just get the ones that she likes. And if, and the other ones that she's not the biggest fan of, they kind of just stick around forever and ever. So, yeah, we just grabbed a bunch of those. I don't know if the deal, Erin, was this deal better? Anyways, these were three bucks each and yeah, hubby said it works out to be roughly the same for the box of Costco. So if your child is like mine and only prefers vanilla, you might have to do that. I mean, mind you, it's like an extra grocery stop, but it's worth it if they will drink it. Um, we also grabbed some, just some fruit juice. We don't drink juice around here very often, but every now and again, we don't mind picking up the girls this. <laughs> and of course, a grocery haul couldn't be a grocery haul without someone sneaking this into it. Oh, we also picked up a thing of vanilla yogurt because I do make baby girl smoothies and this is her favorite this is her favorite ice cream and the smoothie that she likes is often vanilla she calls it I do make her milkshakes I should say I make her milkshakes and she likes vanilla milkshakes sometimes when I make her smoothies I'll put a little bit of this too just for the extra fat but she honestly doesn't need it so it's more for flavor than anything and that's it for today's grocery haul, guys. Honestly, um, I don't know, the haul is pretty simple, but the thing I'm most excited about from this haul is the baby, the Nutribullet. I don't know, I'm just excited to be able to make my own baby food for, for him. It's strange, like, that stuff that you buy in the jar is kind of like a no-go. It doesn't taste very good. Uh, and they also have preservatives. I'm pretty sure they just don't taste they don't taste good So if you have the patience and the time Definitely look into making your own um, I have a bunch of different things that I want to make with him and I'm trying to I, I'm very indifferent as to what I should make first I'm thinking of just doing the apple the applesauce because it at least has flavor <laughs> but I just kind of feel like once I give him him once I give him the sugary stuff, he's not gonna want to go back, and he's not gonna want any of the veggies and stuff. So, it's like a great debate. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. There are still some items on the like that we're not able to get. Some of my snacks that I typically pick up, it's a no go, not available. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm just hoping that when the two week lockdown restrictions are lifted up we can get some of our regular things flowing more in the grocery stores because it's it's really a pain in the butt to not be able to get what we have but i'm thankful nonetheless we got food loads of it and we will have what we need at least to get us by i think until the next week we didn't buy a lot of meats because we still have a lot of stuff in the freezer and um, in terms of our health journey, we are trying to do better, though I'm not sure how this got in here. With the exception of this and these, uh, I don't think we did half bad because there's nothing like crazy in here that, is, that makes it unhealthy. So I would classify this as an overall very healthy grocery haul and I hope it inspires and encourages you guys to buy and eat healthy. We're trying to make more vegan Style meals we do that at least once a week where we don't eat any meats and we are definitely doing our best to incorporate a veggie with a meal we've been doing that it's been a big practice for a long time so yeah hope that hope you guys enjoyed the haul and don't forget to subscribe if you're new don't forget to like don't forget to leave a comment down below and answer today's question of the day what is the first baby what is the first item that you fed your baby when um they started eating like food food i'm kind of curious do you agree with me when it comes to giving him maybe the non-sweet stuff before the sugary things 
because I kind of just feel like he won't like, once he tastes a hint of sugar, he's not going to like the others. But even if he tastes the sugar, or even if he doesn't taste the sugar, he may just not like the others. I don't know. So leave your comments down below. And until next time, guys, bye. Much love.